morning, Kentucky, and welcome back. It's now 641, and joining us this morning is Samantha Duvall and, and hold on. Tell me your name Michael again. Dobbs. Michael Dobbs, I'm sorry. They're from the FFA chapter at George Rogers Clark High School in Winchester. They're here to talk about something really unique that you can do this weekend, and that's participate in a corn maze on Colby, and that's in Winchester. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, um, it, we started this the first weekend of October. Um, we're, we have it every weekend. Uh, the weather's been sort of acting against us, though. <laughs> the Fridays mm -hmm. have been pretty wet and stuff, but it's, it's been pretty good turnout so far. It's our first year doing this. Um, we hope to do it, do it again next year. So, well, Samantha, I know you were telling me that for some people it takes like 20 minutes, but for others they get a little bit lost. I don't know how I would do in a maze like that. It's kind of intimidating to me. So, how does that work exactly? Well, the maze you would just you just start out going through the entrance and you just keep to the left and you can find your way out. Some people get lost and they just give up and come back <laughs> through the entrance. So. And this is a special weekend for it, the last weekend, but also the fact that it's haunted for Halloween. So not only do you have to worry about navigating through, you have to also deal with some, I guess, people jumping out at you. That, is that what's going to happen? We have, um, we're going to have about 25 people in the maze uh -huh. to help haunt it, and then we're going to have about 12 people outside helping with the regular stuff that we need to get done. Okay. Now, you do have to pay in order to come to the maze, but proceeds go to two different things. Tell us about that. Yeah, the cost is $10 to get in. Um, it goes to fund scholarships for our seniors that are graduating, okay. and it also goes to our Feed the Hungry program. Um, what that is is we distribute Thanksgiving baskets. Uh, we've been doing this for about 10 years now. This is our 10th year. Okay. Um, we're, able to feed, we're able to distribute 75 Thanksgiving baskets to needy families around Clark County. All right, and Samantha, tell us where people need to come if they want to come out tonight or tomorrow night. It is located at 3500 Colby Road, just east of the Fayette County line, just five miles, and we hope to see everyone there. Okay, and it's in, I know we have Sunday on there, but it ends tomorrow night. Yes. yes. It ends on Halloween night. Okay, thank you both so much for coming in. Thank you. All right, and I hope you guys can make it out to that maze this weekend. Well, when we come back, Mary has a look at your Halloween forecast. Stay with us.